guys welcome back to the channel and for today's video I wanted to do one of the longest requests that I've ever gotten from you guys and I've been getting it since I started the channel pretty much and that is to do a video showcasing yourself clearing floors 1 through 25 and the reason I've never done this guys is because this is a really long request like doing this is gonna require me to make a video that is over an hour long and to be honest I don't think any of you guys are gonna sit down and watch the entire video so to me it just seems like it was just a waste of time to put all that effort in and just have no one watch it okay so that is one of the reasons why I have not made this video and two because I'm always really busy I generally don't have a lot of time to sit down and play Shadowlands so today I have a little bit of free time so I decided you know what I'm gonna do it but guys another reason why I did not do this is because I have family and pets and generally when I come home they want to talk to me they want to be around me so they're generally going to be in the background of my video and it's kind of unrealistic to ask them to not talk to me for like two hours you know what I mean like if you have families you if you have family, you know what I mean. Like, you come home and your pets want to play with you, they want to be around you, and it's kind of unrealistic to ask them to go away for an hour after you just came home, right? So that's also why I have not made this video. Like, I can ask them to stay away for 20 minutes when I'm doing a character review, because that's cool, that's only 20 minutes, but an hour and a half, two hours, you know, is kind of unrealistic. So we're going to do this one today, and unlike most of the videos that I do, on this channel where I show you guys the character, talk to you a little bit about where you can use them and all that stuff, their skill rotation. I'm not going to do that in this video because generally I get to talking and it ends up being 3 minutes, 5 minutes of me talking about the skill rotation and all that good stuff. And the video of me clearing one floor ends up being like 5 minutes or 10 minutes. And yeah, trying to do that 25 times, that's going to make it so that you're watching a 3 hour video, which most of you guys, like I said, won't watch anyways. So for this video, I'm just going to be showing you guys of, um, uh, just a video of me clearing all the floors, and that's going to be it. If you see solos in here that have not been uploaded to the channel, eventually I will get around to putting them on the channel. However, I'll try to use mainly characters that I've used previously and show you guys that yes, I do actually use those characters to clear Shadowland floors. Okay? So with that said boys, let's get in here and have a little bit of fun man. This might actually be the last time before we get the, um, the new floors added that I'm able to do this. So hopefully we can do it with all tier 1 characters. And we're going to use... Who are we going to use for floor 1? We'll give White Tiger a try. Let's go. Alright. Let's do this, boys. Okay, we got both of them. Now we just got to push them into a corner. How are you not stunned? Hawkeye, if you don't relax... Come on, I hate when she gets stuck in the animation for that skill. Okay. So these two are pretty easy to deal with. The hard part is dealing with Ant-Man when he goes in like his ant form. And dealing with Spider-Man with all that webbing. Especially when he comes out and takes off a chunk of your HP like that. And then hides in a freaking iframe. Great. Okay, so I took a whole bunch of damage there. But it's okay. Because we managed to line them up perfectly. Ah, uh, not so perfect anymore. And then they're starting to iframe. Splendid. Okay. okay, so we're just down to Spider-Man now, and he does that. Alright, so that's one down, boys. Power off the Tiger. Let's play. Yeah, Cap, we know. Alright, floor two. What are we going to do here? You know what? We're gonna go with the Red Hulk and Blast. Who are we gonna use here? Mm, we're gonna use. We're gonna give Wiccan a try. All right.
the damn stun venom go away invincibility I need you there we go ah nice try red but you couldn't stop me in time baby let's do it so we got two out the way now we got three do I really want to go up against spider-man again it's kind of annoying uh, you know what we'll try it let's go with a combat character who are we gonna go with here let's go with uh, them well, who, who should I go with I wish this was a live stream this is also why I don't live stream just because <laughs> Uh, okay, we'll go with Cho. Alright. You're being too annoying. I can't deal with you. Okay, Ant Man. Oh, of course you escaped. Oh, of course you was me. I'm gonna finish you off first, and then Spidey, you're gonna get all the love in the world. Get out of that eye frame. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's how we gonna play? That's how we gonna play? Not today, bro. Not today. Get smashed. Amadeus Cho style. <laughs> Alright. Floor 4. Alright. Let's see what's on this. Okay. So we, we're going to go with the relay. You always want to choose relays. And we're going to choose Captain Marvel. Should we? Who should we choose here? Um, we're going to go with... Because I know Floor 5 also has a relay waiting for me. We're going to go with Ronin here. Alright. So, Ghost Rider is the most annoying one in here. So, we want to take that bastard out first before he starts burning you to crap. Yep, so look at that. One attack. Third of my HP. Gone. Just like that. And what you're seeing right now is the effects of having no attack speed. As you guys can see, Ronin... Wow. Wow, I hope y'all saw that, that targeting though. What I was trying to say is Ronin attacks very slow natively, so if you don't have any attack speed like me, that's how your attacks are going to look. You would have way more control in this fight right here if you have some attack speed. Okay, I don't want Thor, I want Ghost Rider. Look at that. Every time he touches me, a third of my HP. Gone. Like, he's so freaking strong in here. Okay, Ronin versus Ronin. I know my Ronin is the best. Like, no one ever was. He's the Pokemon master, guys. I'm telling you. Hey, 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 chill. Chill. I know you heard me talking smack, but that smack is actually kind of true, I hope. Don't, don't escape. Don't escape. Don't escape. <laughs> don't escape. There is no escape. There is no escape. This would be a lot <laughs> like more fluid if you had um, attack speed, guys. So, yeah. Do as I say, not as I do. Well... I guess if I win, you can do what I do, but yeah, I win, so do what I do. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Alright, for five, there's another relay here. Okay, so we're definitely going to take that. And for this one right here, I usually go with Black Bolt. Black Agar, Bolt Agar. So we're going to go with him. Alright. Let's show these guys the power of a few words, shall we?
okay. Thank you for snaring me. Ronin. 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 If you don't behave yourself and stay in this corner, behave yourself. You're dealing with royalty. Behave yourself. Know how to behave. Manners. Manners. Okay. I'm not letting you have to speak, Ronin. There you go. Alright. That's five, boys. Alright, so we have six. And, woo, all rumbles. What do you know? Alright, so we're going to use silk here. And we're going to take out wasp. Because getting hit with all rumbles. Kind of sad about this. Because I usually save silk for a later floor. But you know what? It's whatever. Alright. So Songbird and Sister Grim are going to be the two most annoying enemies in this stage right here. You guys can see S Sister Grim literally took my shield off the minute I put it up because of how many attacks she fired off. Sister Grim, she's trying to be, uh, she's trying to be the best like no one ever was, but she doesn't know that I'm Ash, ca I'm Ash Ketchum, she doesn't know, come here girl, let me love you girl, come here, oh yeah Wasp, Wasp, I know, I know you're the best, but I'm better, when I'm using silk. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna sneak in my shield real quick just in case because Wasp is actually a really underrated character by a lot of people. Don't know how people can still underrate her to be honest because she's like a PvP legend. And yeah, that's six. Let's go. Alright, so seven. So we got another rumble, we got a speed relay, and we got a cap relay. We haven't used, yeah, we've used the blast before. Who do I want to use? Do I want to use a blast or another speed? You know what, we'll throw in Black Widow here. Even though this is kind of a waste, besides, <laughs> because I could use her later on, but you know what, we'll just throw Black Widow in. Let's do it, Widow. I heard that theme music. This guy's trying to hit his five skill on me. And he got it. Son of a gun. He got it again. So annoyed. Iron Man is really annoying. Wow. Wow, that one slight lapse and so much damage was dealt to me, it's unreal, really, it is. Vision, I have a vision and it is of your demise. And it seems that vision is reality. That's another one, boys. Alright. It's not riff time yet. Anyways, so we got Cap. I guess we're going with Cap. Let's see who's in the blast category that we want to throw in here. We could go with Iron Man. But instead... Hmm. You might just go with Iron Man, you know? You know what? Let's go with Iron Man.
All right. Now, gentlemen, I'm going to need you both to sign these papers saying that if I break your face with this attack, you will not sue my company. Sounds like something Tony would say. Blade is the most annoying one in here, so I just take him out first whenever I go up against this thing. That attack does a ton of damage. Oh, you got his back, huh? Eh? Alright, cool. It's okay, I don't need anyone to have my back. My bros got me. My YouTube bros, they got me. It's okay. Yeah, I got you guys here with me in spirit. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's do this. Oop, oop, I fell asleep. Oop, I'm not sure what happened there, boys. I pressed the button, uh, I don't know why, but our man decided he was not going to respond. I believe there was something going wrong with the armor there, guys. No, because I literally pressed the button and nothing happened. Go away, Cap. That little hiccup right there almost cost me the fight. Two minutes, not the best clear time, but Iron Man still needs work. I'll touch on that when I do a review on him finally. But let's go. So we got destroyer <laughs> rocket and we got a relay right here. Could do the relay, but we're gonna take out destroyer and we're gonna use Green Goblin guys. Let's play. Okay. So destroyer. I am here to be your destroyer. These guys are really annoying with the stun. If I had stun resist. This would be significantly easier. If only the 5 scale was a full iframe and not just like a hidden iframe and then like a part that is not an iframe in between that sets you up for failure. Saw an opportunity to squeeze in the four there, so I did. Those opportunities are very rare. Almost got caught there. pretty much what you do guys you run octagons circles squares whatever then you just hit the five three and if you see an opportunity hit the four but don't use the other skills because it is way too risky but maybe if you have attack speed that is something that always is in the back of my mind because I have none there are certain instances where using a couple other skills may be just a little bit safer for you than it is for me. So eventually when I do get like some good rolls on my cards, then I can put some more attack speed. Then, yeah, that will be the day. 
I'll have no more excuses for being a scrub. But yeah, that's nine, boys. That's nine. Alright, let's see what 10 has in store. So we got the same relay and we got Loki. Cool. Let's give the relay a try. Okay, so we're gonna use anti venom for this. Never actually attempted this one. But this should be pretty easy for anti venom. This might actually be a solo that I upload to the channel to share with you guys. Yeah, this looks like it's gonna be just like a nice easy solo. Yep, it definitely is. The only part of this that is gonna be even remotely like challenging is getting rid of War Machine just because he has the type advantage against me. But get over here. Oh wow. That missed. I'm not sure what went on there, but okay. Yeah, so I'm not even thinking of a rotation right now. Like literally, I'm just hitting the skills off cooldown. Took a bunch of damage there, but hey, doesn't matter how much damage I take. But the more damage they deal to me, the more likely they are to lose, to be honest, because if they make me go super venom or super anti venom, then it's it's over for them. It's over. Like, do not trigger my 30% four star passive. Do not do it. You don't want that life. You're not ready for it. Yeah, War Machine is doing a good job sticking around. Tony, that's the only, that's probably the only thing he's doing, to be honest. We're just gonna focus on Bucky and just by proxy kill War Machine. Cause yeah, or sorry, Iron Patriot, if you want to be technical. But yeah. Let's go ahead and bounce back up to full health. Hmm. Pretty easy solo, but am I surprised? Not really. It's anti venom, baby. So we got 11, and we got a female relay. Now, these things are a little bit annoying. So who are we going to use? Let's look at our females. Females. Who we got? Let's give... Should we give Miss Marvel a shot? Yeah, let's give Miss Marvel a shot. Hmm. My only concern with her is whether or not she has the kind of damage to clear this, but we'll see. Lecture with the bleed. So I should take that hitting that girl out first. Electra, baby, I love you. That bleed, though, I don't love it. Man, I, I respect anyone who use Miss Marvel and they think that her skills like have a perfect amount of cooldown time because just look like the only that's like one of the only bad things about her like her damage is so so but that's bearable it's just the fact that her skills man her skills the time that you have to wait in between is just kind of like huh okay so we got rid of Electra. So it should be easy picking from here, especially since I have a healing high soul set, so 
Well, actually, that's not necessarily e easy pickings, to be honest. That means I might actually run out of time. So we gotta push the damage on them and risk dying. Okay, good. Cool. So we got a minute to finish this up. Wow, how did that hit me from all the way over there? We might actually do it. I have to go stand in this corner. Oh, nice. One of the few times that having a healing eye is so sad actually pays off, man. Golly. Well, actually, I shouldn't say that. They're not, like, terrible. It's just, like, they just sometimes proc at the start of a fight when you haven't lost any HP yet, and it's just a big waste. When they proc during like a long fight like this, it's actually pretty useful. So she got it done. My baby Carol. Give me that comic card. Alright, so 12. What do you got? Got another relay. We got... Okay. Okay, so this right here. Let me see who I have in here that I can live without. Oh wait. Heroes too, right? So we gotta think. Brainstorming here. Brainstorming here. You know what? We'll use Black Panther. Show some love to the king. Alright. I can't wait until I have some attack speed to see just how fast he actually moves because he moves really fast now and this is with barely any attack speed on him so can't wait. My boy T'Challa, so nice to watch him in action. And I don't think I've ever uploaded this solo right here to the channel, so I might actually put it on the channel later on, show you guys his full build and all that good stuff. Bucky, do not do not test my patience. You already you already insulted the king once and he let that slide. Do not do not do not do not tempt fate. Oh, I forgot that that idiot was still alive. Ooh, this guy got a nice last attack in right there. Damn you, Winter Soldier. Not Winter Soldier, I mean War Machine, Iron Patriot, that guy. The guy that, that no one remembers. Can't remember his damn name. And he was just here a second ago. But yeah. That's another one down boys. We got it. Alright so 13. Ooh. We just got here with Sister Grimm. You know what? This is time to bust out the big guns boys. It's time to bust out the big guns. We're going to go ahead and hit with Gwen. Alright. The closest thing I have to Deadpool. Let's do it, Gwen. Let's do it, girl. I want Wiccan. You need to die, bro. I could care less about the trash man over here. Let him get some attacks in, let him feel special. Let him feel like somebody remembers that he still exists in this game. 
because apart from having a really cool looking uniform, <laughs> there's nothing else to say. Ah, nice try hitting your 5 skill weekend. Where is it? Where is it again? Oh yeah, it's lost. <laughs> mm. 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 Yeah. Oh. Ooh, this guy got it this time. Nice weekend. I thought all that smack and then this guy actually finally got it. Well, it came at the price of his life, so I don't know if it was worth it. You guys tell me. So we're gonna let them come to me. Because we're not trying to deal with Sister Grimm's clones. Because they are pretty inconvenient. Okay, good. So we got them done. Let's take out the trash man. And then play with Gwen for a little bit. Really sad for such an exclusive character being a force and all. She's not even relevant in this game anymore. So sad. Like there was a time when she was great. But now she's just kind of like whatever. Like her singularity and even She-Hulk to be honest. Like She-Hulk is relevant because of her leadership. But as for the rest of the A-Force it's just kind of sad. Especially for exclusivity. You would think that Marvel would try to make them at least worth spending the money for like at least still but yeah Gwenpu got it guys Gwenpu got it all right 14 what do we got we got two Hulk based game modes all right and we got this annoying rumble right here we're gonna skip that because that is definitely gonna require a tier 2 character for sure for sure so from here mm, it's a tough choice to be honest but we're gonna go with the rumble and then we're gonna go with a blast character that I can live without. We're gonna go with Lincoln. Okay. And this solo is already on the channel, so no words need to be said. If you don't know where to find it, it's in the Shadowland playlist. I don't think I've done too many solos today that are not in the playlist, so yeah ooh 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 whoa I don't know what happened there guys like I let my guard down for a second like I, I took an extended blink and the next thing I knew a lot of my HP was gone I was still gonna win this like in probably under a minute but damn Like, don't blink, guys. These Hulks, they trying to smash real hard. I feel like it was She-Hulk. She heard me talking smack in the last one. I wanted to make me pay for it. All right, let's go. 15. All right, so we got another female, and we got Rocket. We're not even going to deal with this wave mode right here. It is pretty annoying. Let me see who I have for speed, though. Who do I want to give up for speed? Alright, you know what? We're going to give up Rogue. Alright, Rogue. Let's do it. Now, Rocket, like always, I'm going to tell you. Behave yourself before I have to send you back to that lab. No one likes a foul-mouthed, rude animal. Like, you're cute now for a raccoon, but we got groove for that. So, if you're going to be foul mouth, we are going to have to send you back, bro. Adoption agency, they won't take you either, so you're, you're out of luck, bro. You're out of luck. So, behave yourself. Go to bed when you're supposed to go to bed. Like, you're supposed to go to bed. Go to bed. Da -na -na. 
Stop going after the pot. Okay, the pot's already dead. Finish the job. Thank you, girl. Damn, you sweet. Thanks, sugar. Alright, 16. Damn, we got a boss mode for Loki, and we got two wave modes. You got the uh, chess. You got the gear. Oh, this is actually awesome. So we're definitely going to go with Loki here. And... We're gonna go with who are we gonna go with? We're gonna go with Satana. Alright. Alright, Satana. Let's melt these guys. the most underrated characters I'm telling you guys like at tier 1 she doesn't have the kind of survivability her brother does but her damage is superb and as a character she's very very solid so if you guys are thinking about getting her check out my review I did a review on her a while back she's actually very very good she's not gonna be top tier but She's not a bad choice, especially if you have House Storm. She's gonna synergize with him very, very well. I'm messing up here because I'm making a few silly mistakes and trying to talk and play, but I should know my place as a scrub. But what was I doing? But look at that. She melted all those guys. Even with a scrub like me at the wheel, her drive is its pretty crazy. Goddamn, baby. Damn. Alright, so we got 17. We got another female relay. We got a boss mode. Go for the gold. And we're going to use... Who are we going to use here? We're going to use my main man, Dr. Octopus. Alright. Eliminate the boss, they say. Mm, they did the smart thing. They split up. in that corner. Stay in there. Know your place. These guys made a terrible, terrible <laughs> mistake of getting quartered by a vicious animal. Dr. Octopus is relentless, guys. Relentless, I'm telling you. Not a bad time. Not a bad time. 18, boys. We got a relay, another relay, and we got this. Now, I got a request from one of you guys to solo this with Iron Fist, and I will do that. Not this video, though, because we're on a roll of using only tier 1s, so we're going to keep going. So, now it's between the female and this relay right here. I think I'm going to go with the female, get me some of those Chaos Stones. Generally, I skip them, but I'm lacking Chaos Norm Stones. So, who are we going to use here? Hmm. We could use Electra. No, we're gonna use, you know what, we're gonna use Songbird. Nice and clean. Okay. I'm 
Okay, so somehow she iframed out of both of my skills. That's cool, that's cool. It's to be expected. Sometimes, but you, you get too annoying sometimes, Electra. I gotta say, you're a little bit too extra. Ooh. Okay, White Tiger feels insulted because I left her out. Don't worry. I didn't forget you were here. I don't forget that you have bleed. I don't forget that you also have a damage block. Don't worry, no one forgot about you. There's no need for you to be upset. There's no need for you to be jealous. Ladies, there's enough songbird to go around. Wow, that, did that thing just jump over my head? I didn't even realize that until after after the fact. I'm just so concerned about like Electra. Getting free and shredding me like butter. Okay, hit the five. Push them together. Hit the two. Hit the three. Hit the one. Hit the two. Hit the four. Hit the two. Don't necessarily need the shield, but it's just nice because. Electra can iframe out at any given moment if there's a dodge that gets procced. Okay, so you don't want to always like rely on the fact that your snare or bind is gonna hit because sometimes it doesn't. Simply because they will have a dodge proc, and when that happens, you don't get the bind. Since Electra is a speed type, so keep that in mind. They have higher native dodge. These guys have lower native dodge, so most of the time you can keep them in check. But, like I said, always keep your guard up, just in case. You never know when she's gonna go left. It's gonna be close, but we got it. Plenty of time. I think. Yeah, we got it. 10 seconds to spare. Yeah, Songbird, be pretty for me, girl. Alright, so 19 and 0. And we got this rumble again, man. Holy, like, they, they want us to do this rumble. But we're not doing it. We're not doing it. So 19, 19. We have choices here. We have choices. Super villain, we could use. You know, we could use. Who could we use here? There's lots of choices in here, but we're not gonna use anyone too OP. You wanna hold on to a couple related floors. So, you know what? We're gonna go with my main man, Darren Mordo. Alright, and I've done this solo before, so hopefully I already uploaded it to the channel. Sometimes I do solos and I literally just like forget about them and don't find them until like way later. So hopefully this one's already on the channel. If it's not, then it will be uploaded to the channel eventually. And this is actually not the greatest run, just because Moto got hit, like, using Moto properly, you should not get hit, especially when you're only up against two people. But, I'm not the greatest player, so, yeah. Got hit again. Okay. No biggie. 
it wasn't a pretty run, but I, d <laughs> I don't think I've done a pretty run today. Like, the majority of the runs that I've done today have just been, like, kind of, like, half-assed, to be honest, because I'm rushing. So, yeah. I don't generally use that skill, but hey, we're just trying to finish this up. So, 19 and old boys. Or is it 20? Yeah, it's 19. This is 19. Alright, so we're on 20 now. Uh, carnage. Absolute carnage. Alright, carnage here. And they suckered me into using my songbird, who I could have used to easily wrap this guy up. Okay, so, what are we gonna use here? Decisions, decisions, decisions. We could use. We're gonna use. No, we're not gonna use crystal. We could use Inferno, but we could use. Let's give you a try, Maximus. Alright. So we're gonna try and stun this guy. So we got him. Now we just gotta summon all of our guys and just keep him in check. So you just wanna stay at the back. And I've never done this solo before, never even attempted it before, but it is possible with Maximus because Maximus has so many clones or summons or minions. So it's just so easy to control a fight, especially when it's a fight against only one opponent. He just has such a really big advantage. I'm gonna move back a little bit. This guy is getting too close to me. Not liking it at all. You don't wanna stray too far upwards because if you do, and then your clones or your minions, I'm going to keep calling them clones, I've just been using Loki for so long that everything that summons a character to do damage for you, I just refer to them as clones. So yeah, what I was trying to say before is that you don't want to go too far upwards because then if you do that, your clones are going to follow you and then they're going to start attacking the pot and that's going to take some of the pressure off Carnage and that is not something you want to do just because Carnage is then going to escape into one of his iframes and then he's going <laughs> to murder you pretty much. Speaking of murdering people, it would be really nice if we got Sentry in this game. Oh my god guys, if you guys know who Sentry is, let me know in the comments. Oop, I got too close. I got close to, too close to the sun guys, I almost got burnt. But yeah, if you guys know who Sentry is man, let me know how you guys feel about him being added to the game. He's like, that would just be so freaking awesome. He might actually just break the game. Like, so freaking OP. It'd be cool to see someone like Ares as well. Get some more Asgardians up in here. Okay, so this one should be over in a few seconds. Yeah, nice, nice blades, bro. Maximus delivered. All right, twenty down. Now we are on to twenty-one, and right here, I believe I recorded this solo a long ass time ago, but I just never uploaded it. It's probably still on my phone, to be honest. Let's go, Crystal. Alright, Crystal, let's do it, baby. And then we encase him, and it's a wrap. Good luck escaping that, bro. Good luck. Good luck. You're gonna need all the luck in the world. I can't wait to get some attack speed on this girl. All my Shadowland players are just gonna be so much better by getting some attack speed. To think, two years ago I thought attack speed was complete garbage. 
but then again I didn't even know what it did I just thought it made it so that when you press the big attack button it makes you attack faster and since I never use that and I'm never a fan of using that <laughs> I just thought attack speed was garbage so if you're new to the game and you think attack speed is garbage it's not I thought it was and then I learned the hard way Because there's a lot of things right now that I can still do, but I could do way better if I had some attack speed. Like it would be significantly easier and far less stressful. And I'm sorry if the sound quality is bad guys. We're gonna continue with floor 22 and we're gonna go with who are we gonna go with so super villains we're gonna go with oh magneto someone mentioned this in the comments so we're definitely gonna use magneto here all right magnus boys magnus I mean, they stunned me, but they did a, they did something really foolish there. They went <laughs> together into a corner. Like, that's the dumbest thing you could have done right there. Because now there's literally no escape for them. Like, I'm just going to keep putting the two skill right on top of them. And there's literally no way they can escape until they die. Did Sin really just spawn in and go join them in the corner? Wow. Wow. This is just... <laughs> this is like a joke right here. I cannot believe these idiots just spawned in and then just moved in. Well, I guess I shouldn't say they're moving into the corner voluntarily. The bubble is just pulling them in there. They're getting off a few attacks to like stun and snare <laughs> me and stuff, but because of the guard, man... That's all they can get off. They can get off one attack occasionally, and that's about it. God damn. Like, wow. It's a train wreck, boys. It's a train wreck. Yep, well, Modok is out. Sin looks like she's trying to make a move. Oh, she got close. You got close, girl. Keep trying. You, you might make it. Nah, you just didn't make it. You just did not make it. Magnus, boys. Magnus. Amazing stuff. All right, so 23. And then for here, it's a physical reflect, all right? So we can go with... We could use Cyclops here. But you know what? We're going to use... Oh, we're going to use Loki. I mentioned him in my video recently. Let's go ahead. Her, her. All right. So basic Loki strategy will work here. Just shield, clones, and just run. And you should be golden. Well, you will be golden. I've done this like so many times before. But if you want to fight, you can fight. And that will make it a little bit shorter. And that's what I'm trying to go for because this video is already far too long for my liking. Most of you guys won't even make it here to be honest. And the ones that do probably just skip ahead. <laughs> so, yeah. Probably never going to make another video this long on this channel or ever. <laughs> this is, is kind of why I do a live stream to be honest because I feel like no one's even going to watch. And I'm also because I'm on iOS and live streaming to YouTube is currently not a thing from my phone unless I have like some different like gears and I do not feel like going through all that hassle. 
Maybe if I was on Android, because Android you can live stream directly from your phone. Sad life. Apple devices get no love. Ooh, we getting hit. Okay, there we go. New clones, new shield, same strategy. Okay, with a slight twist. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, fine. We're gonna run now. We're gonna run now. Or maybe not. She sickle, Joan sickle, a JJ sickle? That's what we're gonna call it. We're gonna run now. Just because failure is not an option. And hey, it's not re it's not it's not retreating. It's gaining the gaining a tactical advantage. That's what it's called. It's not retreating. We're not we're not retreating. We're just positioning yourself better to get the win. That's that's all you're doing. You're not retreating. We're still applying by the way of the Spartan. There is no retreat here. This is just a gaining a tactical advantage. <laughs> Don't listen to me guys. I'm just being an idiot. Ooh, there we go. Start back and just healed me all the way up. And my clones just finished these guys all the way up. That's a nice picture right there. Alright, so 23 for 23. Now we got Luke. Cage just handled your wife and She-Hulk. Now we gotta handle you. So let me grab a blast character. Who we gonna use right here? We're gonna use my man, Yellow Jacket. Let's go, baby. All right. Yellow Jacket versus Luke Cage. Let's do it, bro. And I believe this solo right here is already on the channel. I know that Yellow Jacket has not been changed since the last time I, um, I made a video on him. So if you guys are wondering how he's set up, just check out any of my Yellow Jacket videos. I'm pretty sure they are an accurate represent <laughs> representation of what he is right now. So yeah. And that's part of why I chose the character that I chose to use for today's video is because I, I feel really bad not showing you guys how the characters are set up because um, there's no point in showing you that a character can do something if you don't know what in the character is allowing them to do it. Like if it's the ISO set, if it's the obelisk, it's the skill level, it's the gears, you know what I mean? Like there's so many things and having all of them lined up properly is what allows the character to do certain things, especially when they make it look really, really easy. I just don't want to, um, there we go, I wanted to make sure the proc was on the um, 5 skill. Damn it, I want it to be on the whole skill, not the end of it, god damn. Okay, let's try that again. Still messed up, whatever. I'm just trying to like, kill him faster. So I'm trying, oh, and it's on the wrong skill, anyways, so yeah. Pretty much every character that I've used today is already featured on the channel, so you don't have to worry too much. Just check the playlist and they'll be there. Minute 37. Not bad, not bad. Alright boys, it's time. We're finally here guys. Floor 25. It's been like 4 or 5 months since I've attempted a Shadowland clear using tier 1 characters. And we made it here. It's actually pretty crazy how easy it was to get here. So let's see if we have what it takes to kill the big guy. All right. So who are we gonna use here? Decisions, decisions, decisions. And just to make sure you guys actually see, in case you're just skipping to this end of the video, you will see for yourself, it's all tier one characters, baby. Literally all tier one characters. So you don't have to worry, I didn't cheat. If you skipped in the video, you'll see for yourself, every single character here is tier one, okay? So now, who do we wanna give the spotlight to? I wish this was a live stream because right here, then you guys could pick out who you want me to use. Hmm, you know what? This is who we gonna use, guys. So to any of you guys who saw my review and saw Floor 1 being cleared by the Beast, an underrated this guy, 
here's one for you floor 25 and just to make sure this one actually gets seen i might actually keep this video and re-upload it as a singular video i might actually do a double that day so you guys actually get something new but anyways i'm i'm, I'm rambling right now let's do it we're gonna go beast mode let's do it all right it's time to go beast mode guys the most underrated x-men character that is currently in the game here's one for you guys beast is gonna freaking solo this let's go and i also want you guys to keep in mind he doesn't have an offensive iso set there is no retreat for you okay there is no retreat The beast unleashed, guys. So, any of you guys who's thinking, oh, this guy's just another Gorgon? Hmm. 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 Think again, boys. Don't sleep on the beast. This might be you in this corner. And if that's the case, I feel real bad for you. Well, whatever bonus they gave him activated, and that freedom from the corner, I guess the devil is not liking it, but hmm. let's see if he has what it takes to get an attack on the beast, man. Oh, he tried to attack. <laughs> but I think that's about it, man. He tried to attack. We'll give him... No, nah, we're not going to give him an A for effort. We're going to give him an E for effort. That's what we're going to give him. Because he tried. But he wasn't, he wasn't even close. Granted, he's using almost the entire time, but the control that I have in this fight right here is actually insane, boys. In freaking sane. Take a look at that, guys. Beast. Beast mode with the beast. Goddamn. A scrub like me just freaking flawlessly dominated Fluid 25 against Dear Devil with the beast, man. No attacking ISO set. Goddamn, wake up if you guys are sleeping on the beast because he is no joke. And there you have it, guys. We finally soloed all 25 fluids of Shadowland. 25 tier 1 characters. It is incredible. I cannot believe it. It's crazy to think that five months ago I tried this and I like I tapped out. However, today I did it with such ease. And to do it with such a character that is so underrated is an amazing feeling. If you guys made it this far, man, thank you so much for watching. And I freaking love you. You're the reason why this channel is still going strong. Love you guys. Really happy that you guys support me. And I thank you guys so much for always commenting. Y'all, You guys are freaking amazing. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys, well, tomorrow. And I'll see you guys in the comments. Okay, boys? Peace. All right, the demon's out. Yep, let's go get our rewards, man. Like, we don't want to hear no talking. Okay, let's go see these rewards. Legendary comic card. What did we get? Uh, that's crappy. Whatever. Okay. Let's get that. Mm. I need some more chaos, man. Like, give me... Ooh, this is actually a really good card. If you guys don't have this one right here, if you ever get it, hold on to it. It's not like top, top tier, but it's super rare. So if you don't get it from Battle World, this is one of the really good places to get it. If you guys are still watching for some reason, this is a really good card. Definitely hold on to it if you ever get it, okay? Let's see what else we get. This one is crap. 
and we got eh, I would really like some chaos ISOs man okay I'm gonna get these I'm gonna leave those feathers because I'm getting full on feathers already Let's see how much gold we collect I believe it's about two mil I took a couple extra gold stages not like I need the gold but mm. I don't even know who I'm gonna use the selectors on yet. Still working on a Sinister Six though. I have a couple reviews that I need to do. That I know a couple of you guys have been asking me for reviews. I think one person asked me for a review on Mysterio, which I'm gonna work on soon. I need to do a review on Craven as well. Because I have them built up. I have them both almost completely maxed out. Sandman I already got a review to you guys about as well. So I only have Rhino and Lizard left to work on. Okay, so we're up a million gold. Oh, oh, I talked crap about um King of the Hill. Maybe King of the Hill is still open. We can do um one or two runs. Show you guys the ego choking contest that goes on up here. I don't know why I'm still running this. I'm just letting it run right now. I'm feeling really hyped, guys. I can't believe the ease, the level of ease that I freaking um did Shadowland today man it's crazy like you guys motivate me to actually push further than I actually like <laughs> god damn that's crazy like if it wasn't for you guys constantly asking me to like do it I would still be thinking in my mind that whoa it's such a difficult task but it's really like now that I conquered it it's just kind of like wow what's next when floor 40 comes out or whatever, whatever however many floors it is going to be real interesting so let's see is king of the hill still open congratulations we cleared it guys oh king of the hill is open okay so i talked crap about it yesterday oh shit oh shit it's a gene gray it is a gene gray you know what i'm gonna do one run and we're gonna use destroyer and we're just gonna let it run who else should we use maybe i'll use the wasp this is actually going to be, you might actually get to see me get slaughtered on camera. So wait for it, boys. Wait for it. I don't know. Where's Wasp? I'll, I'll throw Wasp in here just in case she time freezes me. I don't think she's going to time freeze, though. Uh, you know what? I'll give myself some more energy defense just to see if I can tank um, some of that nonsense that she has going on. You can see that that's a troll team right there. The fact that he put like his Jean Grey and two scrubs is just, he's so cocky that he just thinks his Jean Grey is going to obliterate everything. And he probably will, to be honest with you. So I'm going to have to try time freezing her right off the bat. Okay, so she's dead. Now I got to make sure she dies again immediately. Oh. Okay, so we got her. My destroyer was very, very helpful. So this is the this is essentially what King of the Hill is. For any of you guys who don't know, essentially the first person who clears it, they get to pick a team. And this person apparently just decided they're gonna put Jean Grey here just to be a troll, and mainly to scare off a lot of people because a lot of people who don't know how powerful Jean Grey is, or if they do know how powerful Jean Grey is, they're just gonna stay away from even trying to get the gold. So yeah, for me, I generally go for the top 100. Right now I'm 28 because people are afraid of that team. And since it just reset as well, only the top tier people can really beat Jean Grey. And if you do a couple runs, you can get the challenger rewards. So right here, just doing one run will get you an extra 50K back because you pay 50K. And if you get into the top, I usually get into the top 1%, so you get 300K. But I usually only do it at the last day because like I said, I'm never in a rush to get through Shadowland. So for me, I only usually get 300K once, but if you beat it the first day, or like me, like if you beat it the second or third day, then you can do this every single day and you can pile up some gold that way. So that is a really good way to get some gold if you're able to get through Shadowland and you're able to beat some of these teams because sometimes the person who beat it, I don't know if they're just being generous or if they're just being a troll and they just put up a weak team. So it's not, it's not always gonna be really OP teams like this, but sometimes it is. Sometimes it's like a Jean Grey, a freaking Doctor Strange and like a Destroyer or something crazy like that. So you have like literally no chance of winning. But yeah, I rambled long enough, guys. 
Thanks for watching if you made it this far. I freaking love you guys. Like I said before, like I, for real, for real, I love you guys. You guys are amazing. Thanks for all the support, guys. And I hope this one was somewhat helpful. And I'll see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace. Oh, guys, there's something really important I want to show you guys, and that is my cards. A lot of you guys always ask me about my cards. My cards are exactly the same as they've been since, like, I made a video showing my cards. I have not changed a single thing, and any time at all in the foreseeable future that I do change my cards, I will always make a short video letting you guys know that, hey, this is my cards before, this is my cards after. That way you guys know just exactly where I am at when I complete these things that I complete, whether it's Shadowland, World Boss, whatever. So this is my card setup, and this is the bonuses that I currently have, okay? So it's not the greatest set of bonuses. As you guys can see, I'm not lying when I say I literally have no attack speed. There's no physical attack here. I have no movement speed, which is great for me. Skill cooldown is probably a little bit too high, but it is great for me. And as you guys can see, I don't have any of those proc things, and I don't have very many resists. Do I still need to make changes? Absolutely. There's a lot of stuff that can be fixed here. However, the cards themselves are pretty good. So this is what I'm running, guys. I don't want to make this one super long. Thanks for watching. Again, I know longer and longer, but I really want to help you guys as much as I can. And I feel like this is actually something really important that should at least be included if I'm not going to give you guys a breakdown of every single character's build because I really don't want to make this a four-hour video. Okay, guys, peace.